Fox Sports CEO Eric Shanks talked about Fox's five core rights deals that they currently own on the Marshand and Orand port, uh, excuse me, sports media podcast. And he was asked about whether or not Fox has any interest in the Pac-12. Now, his response was this. We've set our strategy, and I think we're really content and able to be opportunistic. So if there was something opportunistically with the Pac-12, uh, but now that we have the Big Ten and the Big 12 done, I think we're content with where we are. And if something came up, we'd definitely look at it. This does not sound good for the Pac-12 regarding their media rights. Uh, one of the two biggest sports distribution networks just made it publicly known uh, that they are not interested, really, in the Pac-12 package. Like, most people assumed that they would be interested to try and fill at least, like, their late Saturday or Friday night time slots uh, with the Pac-12, but Fox is apparently really only interested in bigger games for their linear network, and they've already got a contract with Mountain West, so their late-night windows are basically covered. Like, this is the first potential media partner that has gone public with a nicely put thanks but no thanks. Like, The Athletic just put out an article by Stuart Mandel. Uh, excuse me, it was Mandel, Auerbach, uh, Olsen, and Vanini, right? And they were discussing all the latest from this situation. Now, first, the Pac-12 was ahead of the Big 12 in the media rights picking order, and the Pac-12 started reaching out about getting a new deal done back in late July or early August. Well, here we are, six months later, the Big 12 got out ahead, already has a deal finalized, and and it's a deal that gives them the option of stealing Pac-12 schools and conference expansion, no less. And the Pac-12, as we've been discussing, is having to go and look for teams like San Diego State and SMU just to be able to get some kind of deal done. Now, that begs the question, why is that? Like, take this from that article. It says, three people with knowledge of the discussions said Commissioner George Klyovkov is struggling to find partners willing to pay close to what the league is seeking. Two of those sources said Klyovkov overpromised his members on how many bidders there would be and what dollar amount they could uh, command. A target north of $40 million per school, according to one league athletic director. Today, it is uncertain whether the Pac-12 will even be able to exceed the $31.6 million average that the Big 12 reportedly landed in a six-year extension with ESPN and Fox it reached last fall. Uh, the quote here is, We don't have a deal because it hasn't been good, said the AD. That's an AD. Like, the fact that this leak is coming from inside the conference is insane. This stuff usually does not happen. Now, this means that was, uh, the negotiations have been just an absolute disaster. Uh, there were rumors that the Pac-12 offers were like 250 to $270 million per year for Pac-12 rights, which with 10 teams is only, you know, 25 to $27 million per school. Now, are you telling me that inventory alone with potential expansion partners like San Diego State and SMU is going to bump that up by $5 million per school? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, it should be noted that it does not include money from CFP expansion, uh, the NCAA tournament units, bowl game revenue, etc., which would definitely add to that, uh, that number. But it's going to add to the other conferences as well. Like, this is an absolute nightmare for George Klaovkov. Absolute nightmare. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.